All right, this is gonna be short and sweet. Just doing a uh, little maintenance check, a little monthly inspection here today. And uh, one of the things we do is we check our accumulator pressure. The accumulator is a nitrogen filled bag that acts like a, uh, almost like a spring for your hydraulics when your S-tube has to shift over rather than the hydraulic pumps having to move a large volume of oil to push that tube over very quickly. The accumulator stores a bunch of uh, energy, shall we say, and uh, releases almost like an explosion, supercharged blast of hydraulic oil at high volume as such to switch that, uh, switch that S-tube over at a uh, quick rate of speed. Uh, if your accumulator is getting low, you may notice lazy shifting where your S-tube gets a little bit slower. Um, if your accumulator bladder is to uh, blow completely, um, you're going to have a heck of a time pumping. Your S-tube will shift extremely slow, if at all. So how we check this is with our handy dandy accumulator pressure gauge. Right now, e-stop is uh, released, remote is booted up. You can see our gauge sitting right here, and we are sitting at right around 200 bar. I am uh, I'm referencing the uh, the red numbers, the inner numbers are the red. Um, so what you want is your accumulator to be between about 90 and 110 bar charge pressure. So how I check this is, I'm gonna hit my emergency stop button. What that's gonna do is dump the accumulator. What's going to happen when I hit that button, the needle will start to fall slowly. It will get to a certain point where it all of a sudden falls rapidly. That point where it transitions from a slow fall to a rapid flow is your charge pressure. So here we go. I'm going to hit the button right now. And I'll just quickly swing the camera over to the gauge here. Button is in. And as you can see there, we actually fell at about uh, 50 to 60 bar of charge pressure, which is going to be a little bit low. So we're going to have to top up this bottle. Uh, one more time here, I'm going to reboot the remote. Just to confirm this. Let this link up. There we go. I'm going to turn my RPMs up. Not this makes a difference, but I'll do the RPM a little, uh, a little bit higher. You can see that accumulator building pressure building back up. Okay, now I'm going to hit the e-stop button again. Once again, yeah, we're right about 55 to 60 bar, about the halfway point. So we want to be falling between 100, well, between 110 and about 80 is ideal. So we are going to have to charge this thing up. So that's probably going to be a whole separate video in itself, charging the accumulator. But uh, yeah, so on the Putzmeister pump, that is how we check our accumulator charge pressure. Very simple, very easy. Uh, keep on top of it. Otherwise, uh, you won't notice that it's low until it starts to give you problems pumping on site and uh, it's nice to not let things get to that point. So tip of the day, and like I said, we'll try and do a video here in the future on uh, actually charging that bladder up. It is quite easy to do if you have the proper tools and the proper kit. Um, if you have a fleet of pumps, it's worth having the proper tools and the proper kit. If you don't, uh, it's easy enough just to run into your local service center, assuming you have one local to you, uh, and get them to do it for you. So, Or the other thing you can do is keep an extra accumulator bottle fully charged and if this accumulator ever gets low you swap the bottles out really easy to do and the bottle that's low at your earliest convenience take it to your service center or send it out whatever you want to do and uh, get it charged up so anyhow that'll be it for today like share subscribe like share subscribe like share subscribe check those accumulators over and out